Welcome to SimTV. Here's another two minute tip on surface diagnostics in simulation CFD. So with surface diagnostics, the big aspect that we get is an understanding of some of our smaller surfaces or what we call sliver surfaces. Essentially these surfaces are of a high aspect ratio na nature or have a very small um, edge separation. So as we look at it, we'll see that there's a very small edge separation in these corners here. So let's go ahead and jump over to the geometry and SimCFD and take a peek at how we interrogate the model. So here in SimCFD you'll see that we have just a, a standard board with a couple new uh, bolts added to them. And uh, if we had problems meshing and we wanted to understand where some of those problematic surfaces might lie, or if we just wanted to get an understanding beforehand where we have these small surfaces to, to cater to and maybe refine the mesh on them, we're going to actually want to jump into the surface diagnostics tool. Um, so under diagnostics, you'll see that there's an, a surface tool. And once we enable it, at that point, you'll see that Im immediately the volumes disappear. And all we're showing are surfaces that are within a certain edge separation or, or scale of the minimum refinement length. Um, so those most potentially problematic. We can use the slider bar to actually control what surfaces are visible. Again, you know, any changes here with the slider bar aren't actually going to impact the mesh. Um, but you can see that by moving it a little bit, that large surface disappears, and we still have this one um, small surface here that could be problematic for meshing. So if we'd like, we can actually save this to a group, and as a group, we can then use, uh, use that group to refine the mesh on them locally within the, the mesh dialog. 